Hi, my name is Peter Ferris, and I was born in Belfast in 1967. Now, the Troubles here, I call them the Troubles, started in 1969, I was two. But what most people don't realise is even today, in 2010, there's actually a physical wall that divides the communities. One side you've got the Shankle Road, two roads on parallel, Shankle Road on one side, Protestant and Loyalist, the Falls Road on the other side, Nationalist and Catholic. A wall that supposed to be there to keep each other safe and in fact it's just dividing them. Peace Line in Belfast is uh, high barriers or gates that separate one community from the other and that would be the Catholic community from the Protestant community. In Berlin the wall came down after 28 years. In Belfast the walls went up in the 70s and unfortunately they're still there. There are actually more peace lines post-conflict, although that in itself is a contentious term because we're not post-conflict, this is a still ongoing, you know, this is every day. Last week, week before, I get shot in the head in the middle of the afternoon on a busy road. School kids wandering about, get shot in the head. People on hunger strike, this is still an ongoing situation and these children live in these environments. Whatever street you drive up, there are paintings on the walls and these paintings are of men in masks and guns and they are remembered heroes or people who died but they remind you of the past but where they're painted and how they're painted they remind you who you are and where you are and this is the the Belfast of today and there are children Stories that we're not even allowed to tell you. The things that are happening now with their families and prison and activities and some of the worst. And yet they are meditating. And they're meditating on this road. We have experienced amazing support uh, for all our plans and our project in Northern Ireland. Uh, notably the David Lynch Foundation. The David Lynch Foundation enabled us to introduce our stress-free schools program into the schools. So for that we are really, really grateful. My name is Cara Coleman. I'm Arne. Megan. I'm Nathan. I'm Nathan. I'm Anne Marie. I'm Portugal. I'm Sean. I'm Shannon. I'm Claudia. I'm Siobhan. Gavin. My name is Terry. Hello, my name is Connor. I'm 13. I'm 14. I'm 14. And I'm 14. I'm 14. And I'm 13. I'm 14. I'm 14. And I'm 13. 13. I'm 14 years old. I'm 12 and I've been doing TM for 7 months. For over a year. For 18 months. For over a year now. And I'm months. Yeah, and I've been doing TM now for one year. Nearly over a year. Nearly two years. For 8 months. Over a year now. 18 months now. 7 months. 7 months. 7 months. And I have been practicing TM since I was 13. I'm not going to tell you how many years because I know we're good age. Um, I would say every, I think every child that, that's grown up in Belfast and certainly in Northern Ireland has been affected in some way by the Troubles. Um, and it may not be as direct as that and maybe something that has filtered through. Um, I know a lot of the children aren't aware, aren't entirely aware of what happened, why it happened and what exactly went on. Um, but they certainly are coming from backgrounds where a lot of the feelings are still raw and then they are coming, they're listening to those things at home and that certainly has had an influence on them and not always a positive influence. In school work when I don't like know the answers and stuff, I just take me a minute and meditate and then um, it was just naturally come to me and just really helpful. Sometimes they've come, they've come from terrible things that have happened that morning before they've left for school. And if they've made it to school, it's a bonus. And um, because obviously of where we are and the history here, um, I think that these young people probably have been faced with more difficulties than um, young people from other areas. And when they do the, the TM, it's an extra bonus and that starts them off right for the rest of the day. 
Well, when I was in school, I always had an awful hard time paying attention to teachers and all. But after um, learning how to do TM, kind of helped me focus in on my work and what the teacher was saying and all. It's helped me a lot in my math and my science classes. I never saw the shit at us in the street. Essentially, calm me down instead of shooting no back at them. If you're going to do that, I'm away. Then they do do what you want, and then I walk away, and then they go. Well, if he's not doing it, I'm not doing it, and then they all go. So. Is that what you would have done in the past? No, I would have started throwing stones and started slapping back to them. I have found there is a great improvement with the pupils themselves and they have said this to me and I can see the proof of it that their lives have improved as a result either academically or indeed in their personal lives and as anyone knows obviously young people can have difficult difficult situations in their lives they're at an age as teenagers where a lot of situations can arise which give them a great amount of stress the day he died, I walked up with him home from school and we all went over and there was a river and you jump over it and my friend recorded him jumping over it and so it's the very last recording of him and then we all walked up and we walked halfway across the field and I, I go, see you later and she goes back, see you later Connor and so I walked up and in the house, and my brother came down and goes, Do you know a boy called And I go, Yes, I walked up with him home from school today. And he goes, He's dead. And I go, I just couldn't believe it. Like, and I just sat up in my room thinking about it, and then came down and went out to see if it was definitely true, and it was. And I have spoken on just a part, like on an individual level, um, level with some of the um, children, and they would say that doing meditation when they do it at home, when they do the transcendental meditation at home, that they feel that they're in another world, and I think that best expresses it from their point of view that they feel that they are no longer in that situation where maybe they're not entirely happy, and they feel happy for the period of time that they do their meditation. I feel that it has allowed them to, to cope more easily and to take themselves away and I think some of them have described it as they're in their own little world. But that, do you think that meditation helped you through that? Mm. Yeah. Doing meditation last night because I was thinking about it and I was visiting his grave last night and just, it was really popular because we was. Our plan is to build um, peace towers on the peace line in Belfast and the buildings will include a college. Peters Hill, because it's right smack bang in the middle, is going to be the only shared space. And the children will come from both sides of the community. They'll come from the Falls Road and the Shankill Road. And they get to come together in a shared space. There's going to be no fighting over who owns it, whose identity gets to become, uh, is it becomes prominent because they both get to retain their identities. And it's very important, it's very important that you still feel valid as yourself. This has taken now almost four years and we're delighted to say that we have approval support and written support from both sides of the community for our project, which is almost unbelievable and unheard of uh, in this area. So we're hoping to raise another 3.5 million to complete our buildings and um, really help with the peace and reconciliation process in Northern Ireland. This is going to be a sustained, ongoing process. So it's not going to be some way uh, weekend away or, or week-long residential where you get to go and you meet the other side for a week and then you all go back to your societies and your communities and you forget what happened. This is sustained and that's the only way it's going to work. We also think this is going to be a flagship for the rest of the world because if Northern Ireland after 40 years of troubles, if we can create peace and we can bring our two divided communities together, well it can be done in other areas.